on this one. Okay. So, without getting into some detail, we've all heard the story of what's been going on with this Dr. Krimi thing. Okay. I know it's going ad nauseum. I understand that. Now, I haven't really been around Facebook to see all the craziness, if you will. And I'm saying this nicely, mind you. Because, frankly, I think the way people are reacting to this concerns me. And I'm saying this from really a constructive level. And what I mean is, is that we have a thing. It's, I think it's more of a human condition societal thing where we just tend to have these... And I think we've been conditioned in a way to have these knee-jerk reactions to something that either doesn't go our way or just doesn't go well at all. Or if there's a rumor about somebody that's so bad because everybody's so scared at the moment of their own lives that everybody just has this... They go into like mere panic, freak out, attack mode. Why and how this has happened? I have no clue. We can theorize only one, two, back and forth, but that's not. But that would be like another vlog, another thing for another day. That's not what we're talking about here. Basically, and this is where the emotional intelligence idea has come in for my for something for a future article, and that is this. As much as we want to bring out the pitchforks and the and, you know and the torches, at some point we need to take a step back, take a deep breath, and really look at things from an analytical perspective and say, okay, yes, I'm ticked off about this. Yes, this is really crappy what happened, but what should can I do? Or how can I protect myself? Or how can I make sure others are safe without, you know, jumping to conclusions or just going on a, I don't know what you would call what would you guys call it, okay? Exactly, sicko. Together we stand, divided we fall. That's right. And that's kind of the situation that's sort of been happening. But let me tell you something. Now that I've seen everything from both sides... I want to sort of give you my perspective on this. First of all, and some of you are going to be floored by this. Okay. And yeah, you got the back, backing and forth, Sicko, so you got your wish right now. <laughs> Here's the way I look at it. And I have to give Mod Envy kudos for being neutral and holding their own and really dealing with this in a way that... I have never seen before, okay? They were very professional about this. They had both sides. Well, actually, they had two sides, and there's actually really three sides, and I'm going to get to that in a minute. But they had at least the main players involved with this. And they also gave their little perspective, too. Now, I do have the video link if you want it. And I'll, I may put this... I actually may put this in later. Yes, JoJo's. They were. I do have. I, I will give the link in a little bit after I give you my little analysis because I want to make sure everybody because I want to make sure you guys are participating in this. But yes, I and believe me, Joe's. I was really surprised. Well, not exact. Well, that's beside the point. It was the way the interview was being handled that really surprised me. And Tammy and I, Biker Granny, my, my co-host on Thursday nights, her and I have been talking about this a lot because she has vaped, she's talked about Dr. Creamy stuff and vaped Creamy stuff, okay? Um, well, yeah, and I understand, Joe's. I definitely understand where you're coming from. I'm talking about the overall picture, okay? I'm just not talking the little details who did what or whatever. I'm talking about the overall. And I was watching the chat. People who were acting like true idiots were kicked out because it was flatly stated, hey, anybody who's going to be doing one this or another, yeah, we don't want that. Now, I was expecting, like a lot of people, that it was going to be everybody's arguing, everybody's going to be, you know, one side or the other, and that didn't happen, luckily. But here's what I think should have happened as far as questions that I had in my mind. Now, I know everybody has seen the pictures, and Mondo... I, I agree with what you're going with there, too. I, and I totally understand why you're withholding. The one thing nobody had... And a couple of us in chat were, were mentioning this, but nobody picked up on it, is... Well, you had these pictures, right? But... But... 
there's no timestamps. Okay. So how do we know it happened in June? How do we know it happened recently? Okay. Yeah, I understand, J-Rock. I understand. But I mean, I'm doing this from a perspective that's merely analytical. So I'm doing this in my analytical professional capacity. All right. Okay. Next. Um, well, a lot of people are asking, well, why did this take so long for this to come out now when it merely happened then? And I can understand there was a fear. I can understand, yeah, you're trying to protect somebody. But I'm curious to hear about that person that was being protected and what made him to decide to do in this first place. But as people were asking, why, if something's under construction, did you let that person in? I mean, we understand, because a disgruntled employee really shouldn't have done what they did. That That's a given. Everybody's been on the same page on that one. But it would be interesting, just out of curiosity, to find out, well, why? And yes, I'm thinking CSI, LA, you know, law and order here, guys, just to let you know. But, you know, and plus, I'm, I, I had a master's degree with researching stuff, so the analytical part of me starts kicking in like this, so I apologize for you guys. <laughs> But anyway, you know, I'm like, well, yeah, you fired somebody, but for what reason? Okay. It was probably merely something stupid. Everybody, anybody can get fired for something. But on the other side of the coin there, and this was really interesting, there, and quite frankly, there were apologies, at least on one side, but it just didn't seem like the ap apologies were genuine to me. It also didn't seem like there was ownership like yeah we screwed up we shouldn't have done stuff while things were being fixed or under construction or what have you we probably should have stopped production we probably should say okay because i've known companies and lance you can jump in at any time on this because i'm really looking for you on this one i have known company juice companies that you know i because i subscribe to newsletters and whatever who will say okay we're going to stop we're going to cancel orders for a while because we're moving to a new location when we're finished with that location and we're all settled, we're going to get back with it. And that's perfectly fine. If, you know, if that were to happen, I think a lot of people would have been satisfied with that. Unfortunately, it didn't quite happen that way. Apparently, they wanted to try to keep going because of demand and whatnot. And that's understandable, you know. Us customers, you know, we're on a, from a customer level. Yeah, you want your juice now and you haven't gotten it, dang it. And there's a lot of people that are very demanding. I mean, I've had people with contest wins that get demanding, and I'm like, hold on, hold on, calm down. I'll see what we can do for you. And you're trying to be as professional as possible, right? Anyway, um, that is the one thing I didn't get. Why, if you're going to have, if you're really going to con be constructing a new place and you're going to be moving, why not take the time to stop what you're doing or say, hey, we're going to be under construction, we're moving to a new place, things might take a while, or we just merely can't keep up at the moment, things are going to be delayed, we apologize. Okay, J-Rock has this thing. I, I want to know what juice company started in an ISO 7 lab. Everyone has progression. I don't understand why everyone has to have an opinion on something that has nothing to do with anyone. J-Rock, what do you mean exactly by that? I'm very curious. And this is one of the other reasons why. I'm merely wanting to get the conversation going. As much as we don't want to get in, give into the drama, which I totally understand I don't either, I think merely the issue in and of itself is something we all need to be talking about on all levels, whether we're a big channel, whether we're a small channel, a big company, a small channel, whoever we are, this is something we need to talk about. And I've heard a lot of great conversation within the last few days related to this topic and things that I think we need to keep going because it affects how we are as consumers. As I said, business practices. The entire thing is someone exposing someone else. No. And J-Rock, I will agree with you on that. It is exposing someone else. Yes, absolutely. And that leads me to that leads me to another question I had. Thank you for the segue on that one. Thank you for the segue. Because one of my quick things was, well, wait a minute. 
why are you merely bringing this out in public when this could have been a private matter that could have been solved between all parties? See, to me, that means is A, I feel like it was people who were getting, people who were getting, um, not only more customers, but perhaps more viewers to a YouTube channel or something. You know what I mean? That was something else I came away with, especially with the two two sides of the argument and that mysterious third person who's the disgruntled one there. Yes, and it is a it's a community that is sticking their nose in something that has nothing to do with anyone. But you also have to understand too, J Rock. For some oh, I held that bell. Holy crap! <laughs> Shiny moment. Um. So it says, clearly, Creamy's lap doesn't look like that today, so who cares? It says, maybe the biz owners... Okay. It is... Yeah, and, and I agree, J-Rock. It is drama. But you have to understand something about a human psychology. And, and, and I know BSP has gone into this in some of his shows, too. There are some of us that are curious people. We're, we're just curious beings. There's a lot of us that are just... It's just either we're grown up being curious or we were taught how to be curious as hell. Okay? And I understand. And that's something we'll definitely... And, def and hold that thought, J-Rock, because I definitely want to get into... But I, I want to get onto the having it with drama. Absolutely. Okay. And yeah, keep going, guys. Keep chatting. That's what I want. I want you guys to chat it out amongst each other. And if there's anything that kind of comes out and stands out, I'll mention it. So, thank you very much for participating. Anyway, um, where was I with my thoughts? This seat, I'm doing the little Shirley's, ooh, ADOS. I'm that one today. <laughs> anyway, um, the way I see it, the way I see it with, with people, people are curious. And you have, to, I think what a lot of people don't realize, and I think, and this is something else that I've noticed too, especially within our community, if we know people are going to react, and we know people are going to jump on the drama, and we know what's happening, okay, and we know people, whether it's one small little thing blown out of proportion, there's, there's going to be somebody out there that will take advantage of it. And that's something else that I think I kind of... And something that Pewter had mentioned in chat last week. I think it was during Biker Granny and I's show or my show. I don't remember. About it being a quite a publicity stunt. To be honest with you, leading up to the interview that I saw. And then during that interview with those sides. I kind of felt a little bit on that side. I felt like somewhere there was a publicity stunt involved that really shouldn't be, shouldn't be there. I, I really did. Okay. And that made me go, wait a minute. So one side's not exactly owning up, but they're mere, you know, they're 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 showing that they're trying to do good. But if you merely just said, Okay, I screwed up, I'm fixing it now, instead of constantly having to prove that you're actually trying to get better, why would you need to do that? Okay? But on the other hand, if you're just this mere reviewer, and you also have your own juice cup line, and you also do YouTube videos, and then you waited until this moment because, to be honest, there's a lot more unanswered, quest unanswered questions than there are answers. And that's where I bring up, well, how do we know there was no date and timestamp? So how do we know it was then or now? Nobody knows. Nobody really went, hey, wait a minute. But a couple of us did. You know? Okay. Now, JoJo's brought something up and said, maybe the biz owners have been informed by its worker that practices weren't good enough, resulting in firing, resulting in publication of said practices. Well, and I'm going to ask Lance on this one. If Lance, if you're still listening and anybody can jump in there, if you were a business owner, and this is a great question I heard during the uh, after show part of this, this interview thingy. If you were a business owner and somebody tried to inform you of things that were not right in the lab or in your lab or mixing area or whatever, and they wanted to show you proof that, hey, something's not right here, something's going on, would you fire them? 
would you fire them? I want to ask you guys, if somebody was reporting that to you, would you fire them? Or would you thank them for letting you know? And why? This is a question I want answered. And then, hello there, Earth Spinner. I didn't get a chance to chat with you. Welcome to the room. And Monkey Squad, I'll definitely get... I definitely will agree with you as customers, because we are all customers, whether we're, you know, a company, juice makers or not. We're, we're all customers, so we kind of need, we want to know our information. Just, I think you shouldn't get to the point where it's that knee-jerk reaction, like, oh my god, type of thing. You know what I mean? And I agree. I care if it's made, I care if it's filthy juice too, JoJo's. I, I will agree with you on that one for sure. Yeah, and some vendors are. Okay, Lance, there we go. That's what I'm looking for. Lance says, I don't have employees, but if I did, I would fully expect them to have brains and balls enough to point out potential problems. Okay. Wow. Jeez. I hope you guys didn't hear that. I guess that's the explanation point. <laughs> uh, thank you for providing the background music to my show. <laughs> <laughs> uh oh, and it looks like I went down again. Oh no! Did I poof again? Okay, I'm kind of going up and down with this. There we go. Oh! Did I poof again, guys? Because if I did refresh, I'm sorry about that. It just came back. Yeah, this is kind of going up and down. Wow, this is really going up and down tonight, just to let you know. Shut up. Okay. Let me know the poop, guys, and I'll restart. Stop and restart. Okay, but no, okay, I like. Let me know before we continue. This is getting good. What the hell? Okay, well, anyway. Um. Yeah, let me know if I poofed again, guys. This is getting good. Okay, thank you, Judge. You can hear me. Okay. Okay. Okay, and okay, so we we went back to Lance here, getting back here. Joseph said it depend on whether you're the vendor that is willing to listen and change or a vendor that doesn't okay, that doesn't care. Alright. J Rock, not blow it out of the population to have a combo about you. Nice. Okay. All right. Hey, Truck, welcome. I'm glad you're in here. Yeah, I poofed, but I'm back. Sorry about that. I'm having tech issues tonight, guys. <laughs> Just to let you know. <laughs> but welcome, Truck. Welcome to the conversation. Um. Okay. So what I'm getting is, yeah, it, it's as long as you're being respectful about it. Wait, 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 J-Rock. You have labels telling you not to use your juices. Anal Who? I was going to say. <laughs> Truck. I did not. I didn't boop either. <laughs> okay. Follow them. It's the mom and pops are, that are having problems with those standards. Yeah, see, this is one of the reasons why I wanted to talk about this tonight, guys. Because, oh, I did freeze, didn't I? Aha! Well, anyway, this is one of the reasons why I wanted to talk about this. Simply because of the fact that, you know, this is, um, I think this is important. Like I said, this is the, if anything... This issue that just happened over the weekend and last week has brought out what we need to talk about. It's brought out the conversation of what's a standard? What are good business practices? You know, A, B, C, and D. But to use, not to use your juices, anal lube? I don't know if I'd want to vape that. <laughs> just saying. Just saying. Okay, guys, I'm going to poof out and come back in just a mere minute here. <laughs> 